Hi Scorpio, welcome to your September Love Tower reading. So Scorpio, we're taking whatever messages, whatever needs to come out at this time regarding your love situation, taking it as it comes. So please do keep that in mind. So welcome in Scorpio. So we have the Fairy Tarot here. So I want to get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome in, welcome in. If you're new or returning, welcome in. Thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. In uh, Scorpio, I've been away for a while. Um, always keep an eye on the community tab. You'll always find updates there, but hopefully I'll be working on a schedule where I'll post regularly. All right, Scorpio. September Love Tower reading. Let's see what we have for you. Let's see what we have. We have Eight of Cups. The desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. And eights are about travel, action, communication. Let's see. Ten of Wands. Ask for help from others, all work and no play. Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Tens are about endings and new beginnings. Strength. We have eleven. You wouldn't reduce that. That's life path, soul path, energy. And ones are about new beginnings. The gate... Oh, the grace, I thought I said again. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges, the power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embrace how wonderful you are. And renewal, so we have judgment here. 20, which is two, choices, partnerships, unities, decisions. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose, realizing judgments of yourself, releasing judgments of yourself and others. So we got Scorpio Leo here. It looks like um, Scorpio, somebody, some of you walked away from a very um, overwhelming situation, being weighed down, burdened, and you overcoming strength definitely is about overcoming. And we have judgment here, which is definitely life review, relationship review, healing, forgiving, releasing what needs to be released to make way for new call to action, judgment call, making big decision. So you definitely walked away from something that was no longer serving you, um, weighing you down and you overcoming and having this renewal in your life. So this looks like new love to me, Scorpio. And this is you right here, Scorpio, with the uh, judgment card. So looks like new love. You walked away from something that uh, was probably not a good situation overcoming being strong this also could mean you're about to meet a very strong connection that cannot be denied maybe even past lives together but we'll see strong courageous brave all right scorpio we have the tarot de la nui here so i want to get your reading with this deck and then at the end i do have the work your light oracle and we'll pull some of those for you as well okay scorpio let's see let's see what does this mean for you for Scorpio, what does this mean? For Scorpio, please, let's see. Page of Swords reversed. Eight of Wands. Two eights here. Seven of Pentacles. Page of Wands reversed. Ace of Cups, oh. And on the bottom of the deck here, the Ace of Pentacles too, wow. Scorpio, it looks like to me here that you totally cut out the past. You walked away. I see you taking action to move in a new direction with this Eight of Wands and you investing in yourself with the Seven of Pentacles, taking your time, not rushing, being wise, practical, and smart, taking care of yourself, not rushing into anything. I feel like you even probably rejected some offers that came your way. It could be the past, distant past, recent past, of the Page of Wands reversed. I, you probably weren't ready. You're like, I'm not ready. No, I'm not going to accept anything I'm not ready for. But now with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, you could have two opportunities here. Love and stability is what I see here. So let's see, we have Sag showing up here and Aquarius. So this could be two opportunities or this could be one opportunity that's really going to be like uh, double whammy here, you know, love and stability, which is what we all want, right? Wow. All right. So let's get a little more here. Scorpio, what else do we need to know? 
for Scorpio. What does this mean for Scorpio? What does this mean for Scorpio? And I like that, you know, not taking your time, not rushing, being smart, wise, investing in yourself. Reject, rejecting those things you weren't ready for, which is actually a good thing. That could, Ace of Cups could be self-love, self-renewal, and a more stable ground in place as well. But what does this mean? Let's see. Nine of Pentacles reversed. The Sun. Oh, massive healing. Massive healing. Great energy there. Nine of Cups. I like that. I'm going to explain this in a minute. Seven of Swords. King of Cups reversed. And the Moon. The Moon energy. Right away, we've got the Nine of Pentacles is you not feeling uh, yourself. Like, like I'm not strong, I'm not stable, I'm not grinding. I have to regain my confidence and my stability, rebuild myself. Complete healing with the Sun, which is great. So you go from that Nine of Pentacles in reverse of not feeling that way, going through the healing process of the Sun, pure enlightenment, growth, expansion, healing, love, abundance, joy, everything positive with the Sun. And now you're sitting in the Nine of Cups energy. The Nine of Pentacles for me... It's a single energy. I mean, for me, well, it is obviously, but I mean, the Nine of Cups is too. This person's alone on this card, just like the traditional ride away, enjoying themselves, indulging, fulfilling their own wishes, their own wishes. For me, that is like a single card. So you go from, oh my gosh, to that massive healing and everything you need to do, to now sitting in the Nine of Cups, being happy, ready for your wish dream come true. But then we have the Seven of Swords, the King of Cups reversed, and the Moon. Now, the Moon can be fear, things we can't see, new cycles, but the King of Cups reversed, Seven of Swords. I almost feel like with the Seven of Swords and the King of Cups, if you did have some opportunities, it's like you could see through the BS now. And you, this could be you rejecting, um, like, the Moon. Like, I'm feeling with the Moon here, like, people that think they could pull one over you, like, oh, they're not going to see this, you know. You definitely seeing it here with the Seven of Swords and the King of Cups reversed. Moon definitely can be about trusting your intuition as well. Or needing to do that more. I just feel like here now you're in a confident place here with this Nine of Cups. You could see through BS. So even if you had new opportunities, you know, you trust your intuition. You're like, no, I don't know. You know, maybe someone was a little too... Uh, lovey-dovey and you're like I don't even know you that well you know how can you say you're in love with me because the king of cups in reverse can be emotionally manipulative um, very needy attachment you know someone who could attach very easily maybe a little toxic when it comes to love just you know a lot of overdoing it <laughs> And sometimes it can be somebody who's just very open and vulnerable with their love and emotions, too. Because when the King of Cups is upright, sometimes I take them as very reserved, like not really forthcoming with love and emotions and feelings. They know how they feel, but they're kind of reserved. I call them my reserved card. Reverse, it could be the totally opposite, totally open and vulnerable. But sometimes it can be too much or a little toxic, depending. With the Seven of Swords, I'd say more towards that in the moon. Uh, and I think you, you could see that through that, the sun here. You could see through it now. You could sniff out the BS, right? So we have Leo, Pisces. Two cards of Pisces showing up. But I want to know here, Scorpio. I feel like you got someone new coming in. So I want to focus on that. Obviously, if you're watching about love, you want to know. So let's see. <clears throat> For Scorpio. What do we need to know here for Scorpio? What do we need to know here for Scorpio? What else do we need to know? Let's see. Hierophant reversed. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Page of Cups reversed. Star reversed. Oh my goodness. In the bottom of the deck here we have the ace of wands you have three aces here but three of pentacles is growth and expansion queen of pentacles being very stable grounded uh secure 
wise, practical, smart, analytical. I feel you're going to be more on the analytical side here uh, when it comes to new love. I don't see you like jumping all in and out the Hierophant reversed. Um, some of you could be divorced or maybe this new person could be divorced. Page of Cups reverse. I just feel like you may even start like a new relationship out on a friendship basis first until you see okay this person could be a great possibility because with the star reverse you're not setting your hopes too high. <laughs> it's like I'm not setting my hopes too high and i'm not diving all in i'm just going to start out a friendship or build slowly see where it goes if i sniff the bs i'm gone so you have like your bs meter on high alert um I feel here, but you do have three aces of new beginnings here. So we got to look more into that, but we do have here uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius again. Hmm. Definitely if you, you know, you meet someone in there, like all for commitment right away, you know, that could be a red flag for you too, because we do have the Hierophant in reverse. So I don't think you're going to be quick to commit to anyone. Um too soon which is actually kind of a good thing all right let's see more of what what we need to know here what do we need to know about the new person coming into scorpio new person okay four of pentacles two of cups Okay, I'm getting the messages already, but let's see. Um, death. There you are, Scorpio. Three of Swords, yeah. Six of Wands reversed. Four of Cups. I definitely see this energy here of, you know, holding back out of fear of being hurt again. Three of Swords. Death. I mean, that's endings and new beginnings, transformation, six of wands reverse, you know, not seeing success and the four of cups, not sure. But right away when I pull this four of pentacles, two of cups, it's like right now, it's like right at the time when you finally have gone through all these lessons and you're on that energy being on high alert, self-protection, boundaries, smelling out the BS, you know, some things maybe you've never done before. And now that you're in this high guarded energy of being more aware than before in comes like a true potentially good partner here but now <laughs> isn't how it works like when you're in the energy you need to be in that's when something comes along that's actually good for you it's like the right energy at the wrong time kind of, if you know what i mean oh like here's this unsure energy I don't think it's going to be successful. I'm on high alert. I don't want to get my heart broken. So, you know, death could even be ending this before it could begin. But that is transformation too. But Or, or this is just saying this is you, Scorpio. We're talking about you. Because this is you right here, Scorpio. We have you twice here. With the judgment card and the death card. But we also have, um, yeah, you're the only sign right there. We're going to pull one more. Right. It's not giving me a lot of energy, like about the new person. I'm feeling this is a lot of your energy, Scorpio. Like, yeah, okay, you're out there. You're ready. Maybe, you know, I'm kind of interested in maybe dating or meeting somebody. But there's such a high guarded alert energy here of being like totally strong. And I'm going to smell out that BS and I'm going to call it out. And I'm not going to let, you know, anything, you know. It may be like a little too much, <laughs> maybe just a little bit, because I feel like something's going to come in here that's going to be good. But there's such a high fence to get over and being so much in that energy that when maybe not seeing this actually could be somebody good. Because I see you right here with this mindset of the heartache blocking this two of cups here. If that makes sense. All right, so we're going to do one more row. I mean, <clears throat> we do have the Hierophant there. So this could be somebody who's a business owner, entrepreneur, leader, in some sort of way. If you don't know them already, but let's see. 
Okay, so one more row here for Scorpio. But if it's resonating or you're enjoying this, please do like, comment. All the good things would be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right. One more row. Let's see. You have three aces of new here. Only thing missing is the ace of swords. So we'll see if that shows up. Scorpio. Five of wands. Queen of Swords. Well, we got the Queen of Swords. Almost kind of like the same thing, but let's see. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Yeah, not rushing. Ten of Cups in reverse, though. And the Hermit. Oh, boy. So we see the conflict here. I'm feeling more of inner conflict here. And then the Queen of Swords, again, high boundaries up. Trying to remain clear, direct to the point, all seeing, all knowing, telling it like it is, maybe a little cold on the outside. Six of Pentacles is about balance, reciprocity. So there could be a chance for that if we kind of, you know, let the guard down just a little bit. And then we have the Knight of Swords in reverse, which is, you know, very slow moving energy, turns to the Knight of Pentacles, being very cautious, wise, and smart, not rushing into anything. Ten of Cups reversed and the Hermit definitely backing down withdrawal of something that could possibly be a very happy outcome. But because we withdraw our energy, it doesn't have a chance to become that. Single energy here, Hermit. You know, it's good to have self-protection, self-boundaries. Um... And be aware to smell BS and that, but if, if the wall is so high that nobody can get over it, um, it's like why why are we out there looking when you no one's going to be able to get over that wall? You know, unless I can fly, unless there's Superman. But you get your sights on Superman, you're going to be <laughs> kind of like down here. Uh, here we are with Aquarius. I thought that was uh, Scorpio. I don't know what I was thinking, but we got Virgo, Aquarius, Libra. This is all your energy, I feel, for some of you. If it's not, then it's probably not your reading. Because I don't have a lot of energy here of, like, a new the new person's energy. But the energy of this is possibly somebody with a lot of good potential here that could really be a good connection. I'm looking at the heart right here. And it's right on your forehead, Scorpio. Um, but, like I said, the wall is so high... This person can't get over it, or you're not letting them get over it. See, blocked off right here, this Queen of Swords. <sighs> All right, let's see. Five of Cups, Sanus, Loss, Grief, King of Swords. Which is the match to um, the Queen, which we have right here. And they're kind of looking at each other. So, you know, conversation, conversation, conversation. The more you conversate, the more, you know that wall might melt down a little bit. Knight of Cups reverse. That's your Scorpio. <sighs> so that's not letting love, our heart, love, intuition guide us. Six of Cups because of the past. It could definitely could be here. Page of Pentacles trying to come through from a lover. Six of Swords. But there's always this energy of moving on. And then the Six uh, Empress here is that energy which ten of pentacles two of swords being very indecisive but you know strong courageous and brave there is a soul contract here which could be very strong i almost see this empress as being a little um cocky and i'm not calling you these names i'm just kind of saying <laughs> it. i mean i don't know what to say here but you know either it resonates or it don't and if it's hard to hear I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, um, I think you're blocking your own blessing here, to be honest. Look at that, a king of pentacles. Someone who wants to be stable, grounded, sincere. And wants you to fall in love with them. Queen of cups here. Definitely they could have love and emotions for you. But there's, like I said, such a high wall built up. Now, if it's not your energy, I mean, it could be the person you're dealing with. No, we didn't see the Ace of Swords show up, but... Alright, so let's see. We are in Virgo season right now. We did see that King of Pentacles, which is Virgo. 
something could be happening around this time if you have not met them already but i feel like this is someone maybe new you just met or you're dating or it could be very soon so i'm just feeling if it's someone new coming in you can let down your guard a little bit because i think it's going to be a good connection if you have not met them already if you are with dating somebody here and you know you're I got that high wall up, man. Just let it down a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Let's get some work your light cards here, Scorpio, and see what else you need to know. Also, everything you need to know is down below. Uh, my website and description box has everything you need. Let's see. Birthing a new age. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. Yeah, this could be like your dream come true. And I kind of almost feel like this energy is putting themselves in a bubble. So it's like, you know, you can't get your wish if you keep yourself in a bubble, right? Mirror, who or what is triggering you? Yeah, so you could be getting triggered. And it may not be bad, but... Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? It's all about trusting your intuition. What do we need to know about that? Deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. So I, I think you've done that. I think you've done the healing, rest, retreat, recovery. Now is the time to be held and let this person hold you for a change. Instead of you holding yourself. Nothing wrong holding yourself in high regard. But I think it's so high that no one's going to be able to get over it. Let's see what else. Sisterhood of the Rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. This person, I think, would be devoted to you. Um, and they definitely see you as someone very beautiful as well, Scorpio. So you can do what you want. You know, you know, only take it if it resonates. But that's what I see. All right, Scorpio, um, that's what I have for you. So I do hope it helped it resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best. And I shall see you next time.